Good morning, y'all. Rise and grind. Today is uh, Friday morning, day 143 on the calendar, uh, FSQ 67. And we're starting to get a lot of excitement around the country. Of course, we've heard, heard now that the president is calling for the country to be opened up June 1st. And I don't blame him. Of course, there's a lot of people that also... They approved the second round of stimulus. I don't know what round it is, whatever round it is, but I do know and I've heard that people are now getting checks. Uh, they've got the first 1200 and now they're getting the second uh, amount, which I'm not sure if it's 1900 1800 I've heard 2000 I have no idea what it is because I'm not concerned about that. That money is not going to sustain you. That money is not going to uh, put you in a better position what is going to put you in a better position is having a plan for the money never get confused that just because you have resources automatically puts you in a different place no you just simply have resources the the the, the separator if you will is having a plan for those resources that's what puts you in a different place why do i say that because you can often have no money Absolutely. You can have no money. And because you have a plan, your plan takes you to a different place. Now, why do I say all that as my segue into today's topic? We're going to do uh, personal accountability part two today because people ask me, OK, we know that uh, you teach about having accountability. How do you develop personal accountability? I'm going to give you three things that if you immediately implement right now, you will see a change in the next 21 days in your life. Once again, day 143 on the calendar, federal self-quarantine 67. We're still under the quarantine. People are still asked to stay at home if you're sick. People are still asked to wear a mask. Uh, and so we're still under the, 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 uh, the federal quarantine. And then I live in Illinois, so we're still under the Illinois quarantine, which Pritzker hasn't really made a decision. Of course, we talked about we have phase one, phase two, phase three, all these rollout plans. Nevertheless, we're still under a self-quarantine. So how do we become successful under these under and in these circumstances? Personal accountability. I'm going to give you three things that you can do to personally become more accountable. The number one thing, and you've heard this before on this channel, on my Deuces Wild 22 channel, you're gonna hear this quite often, as long as I live. Write it down. I'm gonna say it again, write it down. Whatever you plan on doing, whatever you're trying to accomplish, whatever your, uh, whatever destination, whatever plan you have, whatever project you have, get a journal, get a notepad, and write it down. Do not run around, and I'm guilty of getting pieces of paper, tearing stuff off, and now you have a pocket full of pieces of paper that you have to try to put together because you have all these ideas everywhere. No, get a journal and write them down and so you have them in a uniform place, okay? write them down. How to be personally accountable? The number one thing, write it down. And the it is whatever you're trying to accomplish, dreams, goals, aspirations, projects. Okay. The number two way to develop personal accountability is attach a date to it. Okay. Don't fall for the one day. One day I'll do this. One day I'll do this. One day I'll do this. Oh, someday I'll do this. Someday I'm going to put that together. Or one day I'm going to put that together. No, this day. This day, this day right here. Okay, so you have to attach a date to your projects, a date to your dreams, a date to your personal goals, business goals, ministry goals, family goals, parenting goals. Okay, attach a date to them. And then the third thing that you can do to develop personal accountability is find an, account an accountability partner slash mentor. Now, they don't have to be the same thing. 
normally an accountability partner is a peer that you talk to and bounce off ideas. A mentor is most of the time someone who is in a different place than you are and he can help guide you along the way. Both of those are very good for accountability partners to help you become more accountable, not to be riding your back, not to be calling you every day. No. Number one thing, write it down. Number two thing, put a date to it. Number three thing, find an accountability partner, find a mentor. Okay, it's your man Earl, personal accountability part two, how to develop stronger accountability. Day 143 on the calendar, FSQ 67. Today is Friday, March, excuse me, May 22nd, early in the morning as we get going for the day. Keep us in prayer. We're making serious progress in the bookstore. God bless you. God keep you. I will see you later. Bye.